great show, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks so much. Welcome to the Late Show. I don't know what this means, but someone was doing it in the balcony, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. I got to need the positive energy. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a crazy election. But you know that unless you've been in a coma. <laughs> and I got to say, if you have been in a coma, you might want to slip back into it for the next few months. Because I don't know how to explain to you what's going on. I don't. Because just today, Donald Trump received his 1,237th delegate clinching the Republican nomination. And saying that evidently just clinched a few sphincters around here. So, uh, so that's it. It's official. The die is cast. Trump's the nominee. I'm just gonna get comfortable for a second. <laughs> just a year ago, it seemed impossible. <laughs> it just goes to show that if you Put your mind to it and work really hard, you'll probably still lose to Donald Trump. <laughs> ah. Here's the thing. Here's, uh, here's what put Donald Trump over the top today. There were some uncommitted delegates. And then today, they decided to go you know, back Trump at the convention. And uh, that's what really put him over 1237. And, uh, the support they gave him is just rock solid, okay? Like, <laughs> like this one Pennsylvania delegate. He says he will back Trump on the first ballot, but if there's a second ballot, I won't vote for Trump. <laughs> He's ridiculous. There's no other way to say it. Now, come on. Now, come on, that's not fair. There are plenty of other ways to say it, all right? You could say that Trump is a bloated leather sack stuff full of steak and ego. You could say Trump's got a head for bankrupting business and a body for sweatpants. You could say he looks like a microwave circus peanut someone rubbed on a golden retriever. Ridiculous. You take this. Hear that? All right? Okay. God, it was comfortable. God, it was so comfortable down there. Can I stay down there between now and the election? Is that? No, I have to. They're telling me I have to stand up. But wait, there's more. Because Hillary Clinton has said she absolutely will not be debating Bernie Sanders anymore. So instead, today, Donald Trump announced that he will debate Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Down, I don't know why you're applauding. That's going to be two angry New Yorkers shouting at each other. It'll be like the whole country is trapped in a subway car. Immediately, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Immediately after Trump offered to debate him, Bernie responded by tweeting, Game on. <laughs> Game on. Sounds like he's accepting, but he is an old guy, so he might have been trying to tell the computer to open solitaire. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> game on. Click the game. Open the game. <laughs> and while every network is already bidding for this debate, I am happy to say the debate will be on this show. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm happy to say that. <laughs> Makes me very happy to say that. Now, Trump did put one condition on the debate. I'd love to debate Bernie. He's a dream that we can raise for maybe women's health issues or something if we can raise uh, 10 or 15 million dollars for charity. Yes, to raise money for a women's health charity. I'm guessing the Donald Trump Foundation for women who aren't anywhere near a 10. They're like a five tops. 